All photos are black and white historic photos unless otherwise stated. National Park Service logo, Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Experience your America. Mount Rushmore Grounds Entrance. Text reads, Mount Rushmore and Stone and Story, a woman on the mountain. Mount Rushmore with trees in foreground. Today, Mount Rushmore features four presidents. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Photo Rushmore for carving. During the initial planning stages, the carving era, and even after completion, many people had opinions on who should or should not be included. Present day Mount Rushmore. Ultimately, sculptor Gutson Borglum had the final say. Photo Borglum and Boson chair with hat. While there have been many proposals for the four to become five, Perhaps the most fascinating one was that spearheaded by a woman for a Video woman. Close up on each face. In 1936, nearly a decade after initial carving began, there was a proposal for a fifth edition. Susan B. Anthony, Susan a B. bill B. promoting the inclusion of Susan B. Anthony was introduced in both the House and Senate. Woman holding sign that says "Failure is impossible." Susan B. Anthony. Both Susan for women. B. Anthony was a leading figure in the women's rights movement. An activist from an early age, she supported the temperance movement. Was an abolitionist and a prominent suffragist. She campaigned ceaselessly for equal rights for women, including their right to vote. Petition for universal suffrage with Anthony's signature. None fought for Anthony's inclusion as fervently as Rose Arnold Powell. Early on, Powell had urged the inclusion of Anthony. She wrote to President Coolidge after learning he had attended the dedication in 1927. Photos, Coolidge giving speech. Later, she spoke to Borglum directly and wrote scores of letters to him and other prominent figures over the years. Portrait Eleanor Roosevelt and family. Powell found a key ally in Eleanor Roosevelt, who also came to support the idea. Eleanor Roosevelt even wrote to Borglum in an attempt to persuade Photo him. Borglum with partially carved While Borglum Rushmore opposed behind. the idea, holding fast to his vision of a memorial that commemorated those who founded, preserved, expanded, and developed our nation, he did so quietly and diplomatically. Video looking up at He Rushmore. did not want to offend the First Lady or President Roosevelt. Photo of construction of four faces. It was Congress who settled the matter when House Appropriations Committee required that the money only be used for the figures already begun. Rushmore black and white fade into color. Carving on the memorial was completed in 1941, shortly after Borglum's death. Even if there were enough granite for another figure, no new faces will be added in the future. But imagine if there were a fifth edition. Who would you choose for such an honor? Or would you leave the memorial as visitors see it today? Time lapse, moon setting and sunrise with Rushmore. Text on Black Royalty Free Music and New Beginning, B-E-N-S-O-U-N-D dot com.